Okay, down the hatch. Oh, I hope this works. Hey there, health nuts and internet crazers. Trace here for DNews. There are broad claims regarding the efficacy of apple cider vinegar's power to curb appetite, burn fat, cure rashes, stop heartburn, bring down fever, and cure asthma, treat wounds, reduce effects of aging, and even cure diseases like cancer. Is this a miracle drug? No, it's not. But that doesn't mean it's bunk. Vinegar is a derivative of alcoholic beverages. To make their bottled delights, winemakers ferment grapes with yeast. The yeast eat sugar from the grapes and poop out alcohol and CO2. Yum! To make vinegar is the same, but Acetobacter bacteria is added to wine. The bacteria eats the alcohol and then poops out acetic acid. Acetic acid is what makes vinegar vinegar. The word vinegar comes from French for sour wine, although it can be made from wine, beer, rice, or other fermentables like wood. Apple cider vinegar is made with, you guessed it, double fermented apple cider. Apples to hard cider to apple cider vinegar. Personal note, why'd y'all mess up a good thing? According to the USDA, apple cider vinegar contains none of the vitamins A, B6, C, E, or K, and no niacin, riboflavin, thiamine, pantothenic acid, or folate. What it does contain, according to the FDA, is a minimum of 4% of acetic acid and a lot of water. This means vinegar, or acetic acid, likely won't make you thinner, and there is no scientific support of it as a skin toner. And when Medscape General Medicine conducted a review of all the research on vinegar, they found that it was not recommended as an anti-infectious medicine orally or topically, more like on your surface, and probably doesn't fight hypertension. And in terms of its cancer-fighting claims, while it did shrink leukemia cells and tumor in lab experiments, that effect has not been shown in humans at all. Now, a 2015 study in PLOS One did find small concentrations of acetic acid can help reduce bacterial growth on surfaces, and PubChem lists acetic acid as having mild antibacterial and antifungal properties. This is why vinegar can be used as a mild household cleanser. But putting vinegar on your face is probably not the best idea. Pimples are bacterial infections of the sebaceous glands, so it might decrease bacterial load there. However, it's not recommended by any real scientific research. Though, I did find a 1916 book for nurses that recommended vinegar as a treatment for acne, but it also advised putting mercury on your face. Drinking vinegar was studied way more often than using it as an antibacterial aid. Acids are known boosters of mineral absorption. So a tiny bit of vinegar on a green leafy salad can help our digestive systems absorb more calcium from the leaves than we would naturally. And a 2004 study of 11 people with type 2 diabetes found when participants consumed a tiny bit of vinegar, they had higher sensitivity to insulin, which is a good thing. And though this study was too small to generalize to all humans, research is ongoing, and it is really positive. The thing is, don't drink too much vinegar. Vinegar is an acid and will damage the throat and stomach lining and also erode the teeth. There is a reason it is diluted. And speaking of diluted, if you leave vinegar alone, that same bacteria that fermented the alcohol to turn it into vinegar will eventually grow into a massive colony, which some call a mother. Yeah. Acetobacter bacteria grows into kombucha eventually. So there you go, crunchy, greeny Birkenstock wearers. Go be friends. But if you're interested in drinking the pre-made apple cider vinegar derivative kombucha, maybe you should learn more about what that is first in this video. Kombucha tea has been popular with holistic health proponents for decades, likely branching from centuries-old Asian medicine. If you've never seen it before, modern kombucha tea comes from a strange-looking container of brownish liquid with a blob floating in it. Have you tried apple cider vinegar? Are you against it or are you for it? Tell us in the comments or come find me over on Twitter. I'm at Trace Dominguez. Make sure you subscribe. See you next time on DNews.